<laughs> well, we got a big show today. It's a freedom to be yourself and say what you want and know oh. that the intent is good. But if you're just trying to make each other laugh and be giggly, then that then it then it takes all the all the bad away. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Your 22nd favorite podcast is back with another episode. They swore that they'd try to bring you quality product this week, but they failed miserably. It's time for Balls Out with Ben Glees and Brett Hayes. Good afternoon. It's so cartoonish. Yeah. And stupid and ridiculous that I'm. I think it's humorous. I did not win the comedy competition. Oh, Ben, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> what happened? Sorry. Too busy trying to pick out a dog. Aw, you got all your getting a dog. Yeah. Oh, we got a dog. Did I tell you that? No. Yeah, we just got a new puppy. After putting our other two down. Gonna play something else, but then you talking about dog death. But yeah, he's a little English mastiff, so he's hey, gonna dog, be like going? 200 fucking pounds. Yeah, I can imagine. Be, gonna be big, man. Is it because of your how tall you are and your family is? Why? What? What is Brett and the Hendersons? No, no, Ben. That joke didn't land. <laughs> no, it did not land. Well, I mean, there's not a. I mean. It, the dog is not going to carry. When people are listening to this podcast, they're going it, to. It's going to be sound more like this. Oh, thank you, thank you, Brett and the Hendersons. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the dog is not my offspring. Therefore, it would not be tall like me. No, no. I'm. That's you are. See, dumb. <laughs> exactly. Your shit didn't land. No, you. You got all. a big it dog because right your my... family's gigantic. You've never met my family. Yes, I have. I'm gigantic. <laughs> Not my family. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're all Your mom's midgets. like four eleven. Yeah, she's about three eleven. <laughs> oh, uh, hi. That was in Uh-oh. reference to the band that we enjoy oh, together, God. holding <laughs> hands, spilling drinks everywhere. We're off to a great start. Cut that part out. Yeah, definitely cut that, <laughs> that part out. The whole. The whole beginning? Yeah, all of it. Let's start fresh right here. And scene. And scene. You bring some uh, amazing news clips for us today. Oh. Or I guess they have not been news clips really, but any video clips that are uh, going to be playing? This Texas man is wanted right now for divorcing his wife without ever telling her. Harris County Constable Mark Herman says Paul Nixon committed aggravated perjury when he went through the divorce process without his oh, wife's consent. That's not good. Investigators say Nixon Ooh, forged up, documents and submitted Rawr. false information to get the divorce mm. finalized. Mm. His wife called authorities when she found out a court already filed the final decree. For now, the divorce is set aside due to fraudulent filing. Nixon is currently being sought out by authorities. Lady <laughs> Johnson, for CBS 11 News. So he divorced his wife and hit the road. Yeah, that's what it seems. So he, he forged the documents then? Yeah. Wow. It's not that hard to forge like a girl's signature. Yes, seriously. they're pretty fucking simple. <laughs> I don't know, man. Girls' handwriting. I, yeah, I, it's I mean, my handwriting sucks. Yeah, we got like hard writing. They got soft, elegant writing. Yeah, I'm be a hard that. writer. Yeah, I pound that <laughs> pen. <laughs> pen. Pound yes. That pen. All right. Or pencil. Let's see if this one's gonna tickle your fancy. Oh, I hope so, because I'm I'm not scratching. This well. okay. So I was I was looking for an actual news source. For this one, for this story, finally got it. Yeah, um, shut up. And we got a little extra. This oh. this news channel has a little segment they like to call "Morning Morons." Oh, okay. we should be featured on it. Okay, all right. But so I, the second story is the one I was getting to. But okay. let's see, let's see if you're intrigued by the first one. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> actually happen. So, Full screen that bitch. Come on. Never, ever, ever, ever pick up wild animals Aww. and put them in a vehicle Get a cute with little uh, leopard or whatever. Bobcat. That's what one woman did. It's not a bobcat. She was in Colorado. Yep. She spotted an injured bobcat while she was driving. So she picked it up. She put it in a blanket and put it next to her three-year-old son's car seat. Oh, of course. The she car seat? called the district wildlife a kid and told her to get her yeah. and her son out of Hello, the car immediately. Mm-hmm. Authorities went to get the cat out. Then they realized how big this was. 
Uh, they ended up having like to use dick. a trapping device Good. because the bobcat kept hissing. Uh, they finally got the this cat out of the car. But yeah. Put it right next to our kid. That's not common sense. No. <laughs> That's, That's not common sense. No, that just doesn't work no. for me. These guys aren't. These guys are no WPRN. No, they're, they're no not. Buster Cummings and no. Johnny something on the spot. No, they're not. Obviously, this is fucking Jeffrey boring. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Jeff. Boring. And that was Lisa Lane. Scotland has been given 75 hours of community service after he intentionally flatulated. As police officers oh, were doing wait, a hold search on. of him. <laughs> wait a minute. Intentionally flatulated. How do you know? As police officers Did you hear that? Hours of community service after he intentionally flatulated. As police officers. It's what? like I was in the studio. I didn't. You still didn't hear? Did it? he fart? No, listen. Flatulated. As police. Oh. <laughs> Off camera. Little wheezy laugh. <laughs> Jeez, I can't even do it. I smoke. Even. She was pretty hot, and she finds farts funny. She's five, five, thirty. We should have. We should. Uh, 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 you officers pronunciate a search of him. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Police, Fucking dumb bitch. You would laugh at this story. Yeah. Police responded to. You a queef all the time. <laughs> when we're not on the air <laughs> intentionally. <laughs> oh, oh, queef machine over here. <laughs> oh. Of course, you'd find farts funny. You sick son of. Funny farts, funny farts. Keep playing it. I'm not bored yet. I'm getting tickled. Okay. Jesus. No wonder why your husband calls you Tiffany Skids. Collision when they noticed 28-year-old Stuart Cook. That one didn't oh. land at all, Ben. I know. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even have to pay attention to make that one land. Yeah. That was a... Uh, that was me driving. That was, that was the sound. No, that... Oh, uh, yeah. How is your car? Good. Still running on three wheels, baby. All right. Yeah. Talking to the other driver, when police approached, they smelled a little marijuana. Did he have a little Irish accent there? Can you go back a little bit? Driver. Yeah, right there. Whoa. Story. Police <laughs> responded to a vehicle collision when they noticed 28-year-old Stuart Cook talking to the other driver. Whoa. Talking to the other He's driver. Talking to the other driver. I mean, it does say Scotland. You're right. <laughs> You're right about that one. But I have not noticed their accents no, at all this whole this whole time. <laughs> Dug into the other driver. Wow, minute ten in, baby. When police approached, they smelled a little marijuana on them. Mm. They decided to do a little what we call a strip search. You know, bop, 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 pat him down a little yeah, bit, and that's when he began screaming and kicking and punching yeah, at him. Wow. Police brought him down to the station. They did the strip search again, and yeah. during that, Cook intentionally ripped one <laughs> multiple times. It's like Antonio Brown and <laughs> his purpose, doctor, and then yeah. waved his hand to move it in the officer's <laughs> direction. Ah, a little yeah, scoop so and feed. Pleading guilty Maybe the, the whole thing, and he was given the community service. They are not from place. Scotland. Maybe this just happened in Scotland. My favorite. Yeah, they did. It. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it happened in Scotland. That guy is not Scottish. Yeah, no. He Can just we go back to that in. driver? I'm just joking. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Police, <laughs> you would laugh at this story. Yeah. Police responded to a vehicle collision when they noticed 28-year-old Stuart Cook <laughs> talking to the other driver. Oh, talking to, the, talking other to driver. the other driver. I'm going to make All that right. my ringtone. Other driver. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be you're gonna be listening to this guy saying, talking to the other driver, and then you're going to get into an accident. Because I'll be thing. looking at the other driver. Yes. And I'll crash into the other driver. Yes. And then you'll be talking to the other driver, trying to get their insurance information from the other driver. Yes. Nice. Speaking of farts. <laughs> Speaking of toots, man. India oh. had its first fart competition. Really? Yes. Wow. It was touted as the country's first. Turned out to be a lot of hot air, though. <laughs> Uh, do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> uh, as only three participants managed to overcome shyness and inhibitions to take a shot at the three trophies on offer. Ah. So only three people could f muster up a fart? Is that what it says? Just or should wait. I wait? You should wait. But wait, there's more. They too, however, failed to pass muster. After being unable to pass wind. <laughs> mm, that wasn't funny, Ben. 
I didn't write it. They did. Why'd you fake laugh at it then? While 60 people had registered to display their prowess in letting out longest, loudest, and most musical farts at a banquet hall, <laughs> only 20 turned up on Sunday. Of these, only three took the stage in front of 70 people in attendance, wow. along with a few media channels, and end up failing to perform. Wow. None of the three trophies were distributed, though the participants were given gift hampers for turning up. Nice. You know what I would I would do? Shit in their hands oh. and say, get the fuck out of here? That too. What? But Fart in order in to prepare for this, I would just have a bunch of great anal sex <laughs> right before <laughs> so I can just butthole queef the whole time. Do you like that idea? <laughs> No, I would have. I would have gone there out of like eating. I'm gonna like get beans. No, I'm sure these people did that, and these three people can do it. So, I'm gonna go get fucked in the ass. A- anal causes you to fart. Well, I'm guessing when you um, put a pee pee in a vagina and they queef, it's because of all the the pressure buildup. Because you're okay. So I'd assume the same thing could probably happen with the butthole. You wanna try out this theory? Yeah, but I'm going to do it right before. Patreon? No, well, fine, but <laughs> once we actually start the competition and get it going, then I'm going to test the theory. Are we going to film our competition? Yeah. Are yeah. we going to film the lead up to the competition? Oh, all of it. All of it. You want to see the lead up because, you know, me. <laughs> and then the whole competition because. And your butt. My butt hole farting. <laughs> That's how you it's going to be. Done. Uh... You want to take a gander at what the third story was for these morning morons? Yeah, let's look at the driver. You want to skip ahead, though, Ben, remember? Oh, because we went back to the driver. Yes, because you were so fascinated. Oh, yeah, go back to this Ooh, fucking pretty Tiffany pink. Skids. Moron stories. We got some doozies today, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, a passenger people. forced an American Airlines flight to make an emergency landing after he started smoking weed on the plane. Nice. Oh, but that's not all. Nice isn't moronic. Yeah. He allegedly nice. told people that he was on cocaine, oh, Lord. and at one point. Did you hear the guy? Mr. Hayes, Leon Hendricks, oh, News 8. What? 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 <laughs> what are they? She, he says, oh, nice in the background, and then he like corrects himself, and oh, I'm, no, no, not much. Nah. Well, that's not all. Nice isn't moronic. Yeah. He allegedly... Oh, yeah, I get it. He's trying to cover his tracks. A passenger forced an American Airlines flight to make an emergency landing after he started smoking weed on the plane. Nice. Oh, but that's not all. Nice isn't moronic. Yeah. He allegedly nice. told people that he was on cocaine <laughs> and at one point locked himself in the bathroom. So this all happened I mean, nice isn't during moronic. only an hour flight. Um, the pilot came you over don't with say. Just an hour. to the guy, announced that there had been a security issue in the back, that the plane was now required to land. The ident- unidentified guy was eventually handcuffed and taken away. Oh, he but was an unidentified an flying you object. Imagine you're on the plane. Everybody NASA. Had to wait two or more not NASA hours Navy, dude. for their flight to depart again. So he totally screwed up these That's people's the day. Worst, too. Yeah. That's, That's the worst. You got some moron on the plane, delays your whole <laughs> travel plans. And usually on those kinds of flights that are about an hour long, it's mm-hmm. really just a. <laughs> and I'm a uh, moron, and I'm nervous <laughs> now because I just gave out the fact that I like to smoke yeah. pot. And I'm going to tell you how flights work. Look how awkward I am. Man. It's like I've never done the news before. I can imagine like... Acting flight. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Me! Airlines! I couldn't imagine doing <laughs> a bunch of blow and then getting on a little airplane and trying to sit still for an hour. No? Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah, that's ah, true. Ah, cocaine. Ah, smoke a p- fucking blunt. Ah. But we different. Calm me down. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. Whatever, man. I found a few uh, different things I could. There's the stories for you to talk about here. All right, hold on. Before you do Jeez. that, I might have some Fuck. news that you Why could. You be just do all the news from no, here no, no, on. No, while you were getting you hurt, it ready. my my fucking. Fa- oh god, my pants are hard. <laughs> do it. I know Hurry, how, go. I know, I know how you might now. Go from WPRNH. It's time for Channel Eleven News with Buster. Cummings and Johnny something on the spot. If they've read about it, you'll hear about it. Hold on to your butts because it's time. Here's the fucking news. How often have you called into work for being drunk? I don't think I ever have. Really? Yeah. Not even for being like hungover, like too hungover. Mm, no, 
Wow, look yeah. at you. The only time I ever did that was when I worked at Meyer, and I'd be like super hungover. Okay. And I'd have to w- work at 6.45 in the morning. Ah, yeah. I would, you know, it didn't get busy until like 9 o'clock. So I had like a couple hours to sober up while I was there. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, let's see. I had a day when I had to go in on a Saturday. Uh, automotive plant. There was like three people working. It was just me and the other three people on our one specific line. Yeah. And I drank all Friday night, went to bed probably at three something, woke up at five to go in, was not doing great. Lady, uh, really cool lady that worked there came up to me and said, yeah, uh, next time don't come in drunk. Yeah. They could smell the alcohol in my breath. Good call. Um, But (laughs) if you're in Germany... Oh, hello. Mm. What? What are we talking about? Go. You can probably now call in for being hungover. Oh, there was a whole story behind what you were just getting at. Yes. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Bring it home. Wow. Ah, there was a firm in Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Who were taken to court mm-hmm. after being accused of making illegal health claims. About its anti-hangover shots and drinks powders. Hmm. In its ruling, the court said illnesses included even small or temporary changes to the body's normal state. Ooh, anal leakage? Yes. Food products, including drinks, cannot be marketed as being able to prevent or treat illnesses. Information about food or uh, about a food product cannot describe any properties or prefer you are not paying attention no i'm listening i was cracking my back sorry (sighs) you're just struggling and i wasn't going to say anything (laughs) come on you can't even read true just wait till i go if i ever go stop texting me family seriously what the hell do you need sister oh my god your dog's too tall for us me (laughs) We're a short family. <laughs> You're the only one that can contain him. Get along with the story, Ben. <laughs> He's eating my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Information about a food product cannot describe any properties for preventing, treating, or healing a human illness or give the impression of such a property. By an illness, one should understand even smaller temporary disruptions to the normal state or normal activity of the body. This, it said, includes the tiredness, nausea, and headaches. Upset stomach, diarrhea. Commonly associated with hangovers. Pepto-Bismol. In which the company, which was not named in the ruling, claimed its shots and powders could cure. The ruling comes just days after the annual October Beer Fest. Why? That kicked off in Munich. That's right. Wow. Interesting. Hangovers are now an illness. They just can't say they cure that shit, pretty much. Just saying, Because then they'd probably have to like get FDA approved and all that shit, you know? It's no longer just the brown bag flu. It's legit flu. Legit to quit. Flu. Ready, Ben? Yes. Yes. Hit me. Thank God. I'm sick of reading. Oh, I know. I was sick of you reading, too. All right. Recently, Reddit user, some guy, posted... <laughs> Wait. Is, is that no. his username? Some hum- guy? Humanoid Mold 5. Ooh, Humanoid Mold. Mm. Posted the theory... Who had you? Who do you think had a human? Wow, Ben, I've gotten half a sentence in. Hey, this is how you do my story. I sat there and was quiet the whole time, even when you messed up. A lot in a row. A lot. A lot of messing up there. Humanoid mold four. Five. It's five. I'm just saying, I wonder who it, has no, four. No. Or three or two or one. Because those were taken. I, I was wondering who has them. Whatever. It's not bumping the table. Well, anyways, this fucker posted the theory that Pennywise and Mary Poppins oh. are members of the same species. Wait. Hiya, Georgie. And yes, completely absurd, but honestly, it kind of checks out. Hmm. You want a balloon to a Georgie? She floats. Specifically, you'll have to think of moments. And they all float down there. Specifically, you'll have we to. We all. Specifically, Float. you'll have to think of moments where Mary Poppins returns it and it chapter two, 
So if you haven't seen those movies, do that now. Or I will not watch Mary Poppins Returns. Neither will I. And I will not rewatch Mary Poppins. Unless I want to masturbate to Emily Blunt for two mm, hours straight. That's true. John Krasinski can watch me and give me that weird look he gives in the office. Here are the facts. Each returns every 20-something years. Pennywise, 25. Mary Poppins, 25. Oh, okay, I'll give you that. Whatever. Wait, what? Say it, that again. Each returns every 20-something years. Pennywise. 20 something. Okay. Pennywise 27, Mary Poppins 25. All right. And they return to regenerate energy from a new group of children. Ooh, creepy. But they also have a tendency to return to the kids, now adults, from the last time they visited. Interesting. Uh, they both lure a child named Georgie away from their siblings. Wait, seriously? In particular, with a paper toy. Yes. Get out of here. Yes. Okay, why is this just being pointed out now? Did some because Reddit user Humanoid Mold Five just fucking found out, dude? It's some millennial that just who hmm. knows if human uh, Humanoid Mold Five is a millennial or an old man. Well, I'm just saying, how long has Barry Poppins been around? How long has the book It been around? This is I think he just made the connection since the Returns one just came out, so now uh... he can, you know. So like he's oh, only so had like a year or so to really, yeah I guess ah because she returns like yeah it. get it? it that son of a bitch humanoid mold <sighs> I can't get it off my cheese I can't get it off my mind mm, okay anyways moving Reddit. on they both have the power to use what's in children's minds mm. uh, the parents in both stories are oblivious to the fantastical things. situations their kids are experiencing ooh. In both stories, the grown-up versions of the kids forget their experiences. Yeah. Both Mary Poppins and Pennywise have a uh, penchant for singing and dancing. Penchant's a hard word to read. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I've <laughs> never seen that word before. And finally, at the end of Mary Poppins Returns, all the characters go floating off with balloons, and you know who loves to float. Ah, interesting. I like that. That's fun. That is fun. That's a fun one, Ben. I like what you've brought to the table. See what happens when you do some work? Thanks. I was just, you know. For our podcast. Just couldn't sleep the other night, so I just emailed myself a bunch of BuzzFeed stories. That's, where you, it's all, that's the only place you get your Those shit Those are from the is. only interesting ones I can find. No, that was a good one. I got more. It doesn't make me want to watch Mary Poppins or Mary Poppins Returns. Yeah, we don't have to now. No. We know what happens. Exactly. Mary Poppins kills all the children. But still going to watch Emily Blunt jerk off. Oh, fuck Yeah. I'm going to watch, but I'm not going to pay attention. Know what I mean? You know what's not going to be a quiet place? My bedroom. Because <laughs> I'll be there with you, baby. <laughs> All right. You want uh, 19 shocking movie plot twists that will honestly mess you up a bit? Uh, Fuck yeah. Okay. Spoiler alert, I guess, if you fucking haven't seen all these movies. Are these... Well, do you... Have you looked at the list already? Do you know if they're old movies, new movies? Everything. Like, how old is the, the newest movie that's on the list, do you think? Us. Us is the first one. Ah, well, okay, that's pretty damn new, so yeah. All right. <sighs> Fucking zone out, I guess, fuckers. Or just do the skip ahead. Yeah, the little 15-second one. Well, uh, when you get to one that looks that's a movie that's pretty new. Oh, we'll be like, I'll definitely say something, man. Spoiler, skip ahead. Like, yeah, like, skip ahead. Like that. Insert. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. Audio here. In Us, number one, In Us. Oh, so skip ahead right now. <laughs> when it was re revealed that Red had been living as Adelaide for decades and that the real Adelaide was trapped under the boardwalk. I didn't. I kind of knew that one was coming. I wasn't like, what? Okay, yeah. Do, I don't know. Do you agree or are you going to disagree with me? You want to try and fucking start something? No. Fuck. See, back you, off. When I'm With movies like that, do you try to guess... Do you try to think yeah. things out? See, I don't. Yeah, I try that. I just sit there and try to enjoy the whole time so I can be surprised at surprises. Yeah. I have a buddy that I used to go to movies with who would always try to figure out the whole entire time. Yeah. And he'd nudge me and be like, oh, this oh, is dude, gonna be the this twist. Is what happens. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm that's, like, just. It's kind of me. I just sit in the moment and enjoy it. It's me a little bit. I don't, I don't I'm wanna, the same way with masturbating, though, too. I don't want the surprises to be ruined. I want to be caught off guard. But some are just pretty like... Yeah, you kind of do. You know this is going to happen. If you want a real good plot twist that you won't see coming, 
watch the movie The Mist, another Stephen King movie. Ooh. Oh, number two. I haven't seen this movie. Orphan? Uh, an orphan when nine-year-old Esther turned out Holy to be a 33-year-old shit. murderer who was plotting against her new family. You have that story? Yes. Read it now. Did you? Yeah, that's you why I just started story? freaking out. Yeah, I read ah. this like yesterday morning. Do it. Holy do it. Balls. Or you want me to do it? You do it. I'll do it. No, yeah, you can do, do, it. do it. You do it. I'll do it. You do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Let me do it. Okay. <laughs> so there's an Indiana. You just said you do it, and then you kept it. I know. You Because this is a three-pager. Oh, uh, fuck. Can I do it? Jesus. <laughs> there's an Indiana couple accused of abandoning their daughter. Oh, my God. This is going to um, be a long night. Shut up. A couple accused of abandoning their adopted daughter says the allegations are false and that they're the victims. Ah! <laughs> According to court documents filed earlier this month, uh, Christine and Michael Barnett adopted a Ukrainian-born girl with dwarfism in 2010. Mm -hmm. Speaking of little people, your family's uh, no longer texting you. Um, Cool. Good (laughs) reference, man. Just keep fucking reading. So they adopted her in 2010, but abandoned her in 2013. Oh, my God. There's the dwarfs. Um, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> when they move to Canada, they are accused of changing the girl's age from 8 to 22 before they left. And they told the girl to tell other people she looks young for her age. That's what girls tell me. Me too. Um, they were both charged with neglect of a dependent, and they bonded out of jail last week. But in an interview with Daily Mail, it's, I, I mean come on it's like i don't want to get weekly (laughs) christine says the adoption was a scam and the girl is actually an adult who has made a career out of fooling people into thinking she's a young girl i need like i think that's all you really need to read really yeah (laughs) um within the first five weeks uh she showed signs of a sophisticated vocabulary. She shunned other children, and she had a period. Ooh, that's, that's nasty. Don't go down there. They took the girl to a family physician who ordered bone density tests to help determine her actual age. The results suggested she was at least 14. So the parents started treating her like a teenager. Uh, oh, God. But then Christine says the girl started making death threats against them. She allegedly tried to poison Christine and push her into an electric fence. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, that was a fire. That was a fire. <laughs> that's better. Yeah, that's Christine. Um, let's see. Let's see. They legally changed the girl's age in June 2012 <laughs> so she could receive appropriate psychiatric treatment. Psychiatric. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. They continue to pay for her housing when they moved to Canada for Ooh, their Canada. son Jacob's education, who is now 21. <laughs> yeah, I bet he's uh, 42. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Court documents obtained by WLFI. WBRN. She was evicted from the apartment in May 2014. By then, Christine says she vanished and stopped returning her calls. She fears she stopped t- taking her medication and posing as a child for another family. Mm. That's nuts. Uh, in 2016, a couple applied to become the girl's guardians, but the Barnetts filed an objection saying she was an adult. Christine says witnesses came before the courts to testify they were certain the girl was 22. The judge upheld the original results, and the couple dropped the guardianship petition. Christine says it doesn't make sense why they're being charged with crimes now, several years after her age was upheld. Fuck, dude. So back to this orphan thing. I would be creeped out. Yeah, seriously. I would be fucking... Like, holy shit, dude. I don't even know what I would do. I'd probably move to Canada, too. Mommy, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> well, anyways, in Orphan, when nine-year-old Esther turned out to be a 33-year-old murderer who was plotting against her new family. I you would have s- known because of her name is Esther. Right, bitch. I want to <laughs> see that movie, though. It's Never good. Never seen it, is it? it? That's back when Rotten Tomatoes would give, like, scary movies, like, 
good ones. Yeah. Scores in the mid 40s. Mm-hmm. That was one of those. Cool, interesting tidbit there. Yes. In Hereditary, when Charlie had an allergic reaction and stuck her head out of the window to get some fresh air, <laughs> but she was decapitated by a road sign. Wait, that's a plot twist? It's, 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 a, it's a crazy moment that just comes out of nowhere, I guess. Yeah, it's not yeah, really sure. a plot twist. Just take it. Take it or leave it. Take it. Leave it. Let's leave that one behind. Yes. In the Just sick- like her head. <laughs> you can't deny that. In the sixth shot. sense, when the flashbacks showed that Malcolm Crow was actually dead the whole time. Wait, what? What? Bruce Willis is dead the whole time? Yeah. He didn't actually say his name was Bruce Willis. <laughs> I already knew it. Mm. <laughs> in Shutter Island, when Teddy Daniels was yes. revealed to be a patient in the asylum, not a U.S. Marshal who was working on a case. Yes. Good yes. One. Good one. Did then, not see that coming at all. But then that they also leave you uh, thinking, do, is he aware or is he no longer aware? Right. Is he like in a dream or is he not in a dream? God damn. You got to pay attention to the little the dreidel or whatever, you know? Trippy movies. Wow, man. Uh, American Psycho when Patrick visited Paul's apartment the day after their murders, assuming it would be covered in blood, but it was spotless. Yeah. I just started watching that for the first time. I didn't even get through it. So, what? Yeah, I have to finish it. Have you gotten to. Have you gotten to where. Uh, you know. Uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, Dude from 30 Seconds to Mars. Jared Leto? Yeah. Yeah. You've met Jared Leto? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Have they hung out alone? Yes. Yep. I got to that part. The apartment? Yeah. Huey Lewis in the news? Yes. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Whatever. You didn't get through it after watching that? No, I fell asleep. That's like one of the that's one of the best it was scenes really late. in a movie. It was lame. Ever. Okay. It's so fun. Next. <laughs> you all jazzed up, man. Yeah. Next. In Get Out, when Rose refused to give Chris the car keys and he f- figured out what exactly was going on. Get out. I liked that one. I didn't see that one all the way. <laughs> What? You didn't see what I did. Though. I totally I totally caught it, but I ignored it. <laughs> That's a good idea. In, yeah, I didn't see that one coming either. Great. Whatever. Movie. Did in, you hear... Um, uh, is it Silence? Jordan Peele, the one that does Get Out? Yeah. Um, he's doing Candyman. Oh, really? Yeah. The Candyman can. Exactly. The Candyman can. Oh, don't say his name three times. The Candyman can. Son of a bitch. Isn't that Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Mm. Are you excited about that one? Are they actually doing it now? You haven't seen the trailer for it? No. Yeah, there's a trailer out already. I don't believe that. No, I'm serious. Nope. Keaton's the... It's a fake trailer. Number eight, in the visit, when the mom noticed over Skype that the people her kids were staying with weren't actually their grandparents, but escaped mental patients. Yeah, I liked that one. Yeah, that was a gross ass. Yeah. The The diapers and shit in the barn or whatever. Ooh, this is a good one. In Saw, when the dead body on the ground revealed himself to be Jake Saw. Yeah, that was one of the first good ones I remember. That's true. That was... That yeah, that one blew my mind. I was still in high school though. Yeah, me too. You were I was maybe a little a little younger. Yeah. Possibly. I'd say we're about the same um age range apart now as we were then, but you make a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Number ten, and the others, when it was revealed that Grace and her children were ghosts the whole time and she had killed them. I like that one. The others. The Nicole others. Kidman. Ah, yes. Um, ooh, older movies, spoiler alert, <laughs> in Murder on the Orient Express, when literally everyone it. turned out to be the murderer. What? The new one's good. I've never seen the original, though. I've never seen either, but now I don't need to see the newer one. Um, I don't remember if... Did they change the ending in the newer one? I don't remember. Was everybody the killer? I don't remember. remember. Gosh, it was such a terrible plot twist that, or a terrible. It was a movie. good movie. It was good. Doesn't sound like it. Whatever. Who the killer I was. see a lot of movies, Ben. I can't keep them all fucking straight. In the mist, when David. <gasps> no, 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 no! Don't read this one. Spoiler alert. Don't read this one. Why? Because people need to see this movie. In the mist, when no. David had seriously, don't read this one. 
It doesn't have an effect if you read it. You have to watch the whole movie for it to in, have in the mist the desire. When David effect. had, I've never even like no. This is the best oh, non Hollywood ending I've ever seen in a movie. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. When I was a kid, let me read it. Please, let me read it. Why? Because we've it, read all the other ones. I know, but this one's so fucking good. This was when I was a kid. I got so sick of everything turning out great at the end. Hell. Hollywood ending. Da, 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 I wanted da, to see da, the da. anti-movie of that. Fine. I won't read it. This movie does that. Oh, to a T, I laughed so hard and got so much joy out of the end of that movie. Fine. Whatever. Watch the movie The Mist. It might be shitty. Because he basically kills everybody and then a second later, the U.S. Army comes and saves him. Number 13, in the village, when everything turned out to be a social experiment, and the village was actually located deep in a forest preserve in the present day. Okay, we go from a good one to a shitty one. I walked out of this movie because I hated it so much. <laughs> Whatever. I was so pissed. Get out of here, M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong. In Good Night Mommy, yeah, when Elias... Elias, nice name. Imagine that his brother, who had died in an accident, was alive the whole time. Well, crazy shit, man. In The Boy... Yeah, when the por- he por- was alive and when- Bruce Willis was dead. <laughs> the when the whole por- time! <laughs> when the porcelain doll was smashed and then a real-life man emerged from inside the walls of the house, meaning Brahms actually survived the fire 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> that was him smashing the doll. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> uh, in I Am Legend, when Will Smith's character had to kill the dog, his only living friend in the entire world, because it got infected. Plot twist right there, baby! <laughs> Um, in the uninvited, when Anna found out that Alex died in the fire and that she'd been hallucinating her and even killed Rachel. I don't think I've seen that one. Eh, it doesn't ring a bell. I was trying to think of what that movie was. Is that Manny Moore? Some shit? Uh, in Psycho, when it's revealed that Norman Bates' mother was dead the whole time and Norman uh-huh. was pretending to be her. Aha. Uh-huh. Ooh, a he. Uh-huh. And last but not least, uh, <laughs> in Scream, when Drew Barrymore, who was Ooh. promoted as the main character and was literally on the main poster, was killed in the opening scene. Plot twist. Plot right. twist coming at you. That one's stupid. Yeah, that last one was not that good. That dumb. It's not a plot twist. That one's fucking stupid. What about the endings to that? Everybody dies. What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> what is your favorite scary movie? Shut up, Ben. Exorcist. No, it's not. <laughs> Fuck. That was like the first movie that scared the shit out of me. Favorite scary movie, Ben. First mar- movie that scared the living shit out of me, I think, Fear.com. Mm, I remember that one. I watched that one super late, Yeah. super dark, and by myself. <laughs> Not it's more like they're posting online, like they show the video of them torturing them. Yeah, kind of, like uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And then I had brought it up to friends like that I had met way later, yeah. and they also had like the same experience with that movie. Oh, mate, Blair Witch <gasps> Project? I watched that like a couple of years ago, and it was way better when I, when we were younger. Yeah, because I'm just it's trying just to think dumb. of. Oh yeah, that was one of the scariest ones I remember. Yeah, for sure. Because um, I was, they did such a good. We were kids. I thought it was real. So did I. Completely because real. of the way the news yeah. was handling it. Yep. Oh, that was good. Then they made like the Book of Souls number two. Yeah. And all these. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was just thinking. Um, not very scary, but. A little bit Sleepy Hollow. Have you seen the one with Johnny Depp in it? I love <laughs> that one. Bus. That's a great one. Oh, You're not like it's just a good movie. No, yeah, it's not like scary, it but like it's a dark. It's a dark movie. I thought it was no, it didn't scare <laughs> the shit out of me. Jesus. Well, thought, that's what we were talking about. I said right before I prefaced it with, oh, "It's not really a scary movie." Hey man, have you seen uh, the movie uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? <laughs> Big Hero Six. Oh, that one is scary. When everybody dies. I know, man. <laughs> uh, that's about time we wrap it up, man. Speaking of lists. 
A woman posted her in-laws insane list of complaints during a visit. <laughs> a woman in the UK recently had to deal with her husband's brother when he stayed with them for three days. Hot. And he complained the whole time. Meh. Like it was a hotel or something. Meh. Meh. Here's his list of complaints. Oh, he wrote them down. Their front gate was too squeaky. Squeak, squeak. I knew you were gonna That's what that. it sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Number two. Squeak. The towels Squeak. they gave him were white, and he doesn't Squeak. like white towels. Man, I need a black towel. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. If this was a hotel, you'd be getting white towels. Stupid douche. And so you can bleach and just... Oh, I thought you were going to say bleed. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Number three, they gave him a choice of three blankets and none of them were one, good two, enough. Three. Oh, come on. This one's supposed to be too big. This one's supposed to be too small. This one's supposed to be just right. There you go. Number four, the gates on their stairs Squeak. to keep their kids safe were, quote, Squeak. really inconvenient. Squeak. Get the shit out of my way. For this shit. Yeah, man. Number five. They had a bunch Mambo of Mambo number five. <laughs> Little bit of Monica in, in my, my life. life. Hey. <laughs> they had a bunch of spare clothes in his size, but he didn't like the selection. I'm too fat. <laughs> no, they were in his size. Fat clothes. <laughs> No, they were in his size. Big old fat people clothes for me. No, they were in his size. I'm eyes. fat. Fat clothes. I don't like them. I don't like dolphins, and that one's got a dolphin on it. <laughs> Plus, I'm fat. <laughs> fat, fat, fat. I make a dolphin on a t-shirt look like a whale. Squeak. <laughs> Number six, Amazon Prime Video didn't have the new Quentin... <laughs> No <laughs> movie yet, so he what? said it was a waste of money. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He bought Amazon Prime while at their house, and they didn't have the movie he wanted? No, I think they had Prime. Oh. And he went to watch... Oh, then that's not their fault. <laughs> he went to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Christ. Dude, I, fuck, I, Great I was movie telling before. Anne the other day. Yeah, seriously, go see it. <laughs> Can't wait for the four-hour version. Um, D and O. That's uh, D-A-N-D-O. At manscaped.com to get 20% off. Don't forget Blue Chew. Your Blue Chew.com slash Blue Chew. Choo Choo Blue Blue. Bracket. Um, no, I was telling Anne the other day. I was like, I don't get why we have fucking Amazon Prime like for videos. Because every time I try to watch something... It's it like, says, you gotta buy it. Or just watch the trailer. Yeah. Well, you're watching the wrong shit. You're looking at the wrong ones. No, I mean, there's... there's yeah. It's supposed to be like old shit. Just don't ever go in the watch next section, because it's like always fucking pay for it or go here. Oh, really? Yeah, it's always stupid. Like, I went to watch V for Vendetta the other day. Nice. Couldn't you get it. You don't have that on Blue? Blu-ray? Yeah. No. They have it on Netflix, though. I got it. You want to borrow it? No, it's on Netflix. You want me to bring it over next time? I got the old Netflix. Okay. What's next? can't believe. (laughs) God, how can you be pissed (laughs) about a movie that's just out in theaters? Eh. Anyways. Someone used the... the, 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 Someone... I pulled the free beer. I've done that a lot today, buddy. I was reading the word bathroom, but was my eyes were already to the word middle, and I said middle. (laughs) Someone used the bath. I almost did it again. Someone used the bathroom in the middle of the night, and he heard the toilet flush. 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 This might be the most high maintenance person I've ever heard of in my entire life. I wouldn't even jerk him off, honestly. Like if I heard somebody shitting like really loud, that might be an issue. What if he was puking like right? Into his hand, and he was about to throw hmm. it right at you. I don't know. Hmm. Would you duck, or would you complain? Oh, I'd complain. Actually, I'd, I'd make a list first, and then complain. Exactly. And then I'd wipe my ass with it, oh, um, and flush the toilet, it. so you would hear it again. He no. complained that the woman was using her asthma inhaler too much. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're breathing too much. <laughs> Jeez. Oh God. Hold it, hold it in. If you're not dead by the end of this trip, it wasn't a good one. <laughs> the planes overhead were flying too low. <laughs> if this was your brother-in-law... That was a helicopter. 
Or propeller plane. Let's do that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that propeller plane flying too low. <laughs> wow. Anyways, what was what was you gonna say? <laughs> Georgie. What was you going to say there? Uh, let's say this was your brother-in-law. Okay. Obviously, never staying in your house again, right? What are we talking about? This guy. What happened? This guy's falling? Um, No, I would uh, make sure that my sister divorces him, actually, so he's no longer my brother-in-law. And uh, if he was your brother, eh, no longer a part of your family. Exactly. Exactly. All right. The yeah. house had too many rugs. Wow. Okay. Too many rugs. Too, too many, many rugs. rugs. Too, too many, many rugs. rugs. Not too many enough rugs. feet. Not enough hardwood floors. Yeah. They didn't have enough music on vinyl. <laughs> wow. I don't like your selection, actually. I like to hear the warming sound mm. of a, a nice record. It just sounds better, honestly. The local swimming pool they belonged to Swim. wasn't open late enough. Wow. Seriously. What the fuck does this fat ass need to do swimming late? Why aren't there any kids in the pool? <laughs> <laughs> he could hear the traffic in the distance when he was in their backyard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're shitting me. This is... This, I, you guys live too close to a highway. You mind moving for me? I've only been here for three days. I'm out of here. Jesus. I want to fight this guy. This? Fuck. I don't think we we could have come up with a better list if no. we had tried to. I think we should try, but I don't want to because it would suck compared to this. He had to move the seat. I'm, I'm already pre-laughing just <laughs> thinking about pre. how stupid these are. Yeah, a little pre on your chin. He had to move the seat when he borrowed their car because they didn't. They hadn't set it up for him. Jesus. <laughs> time. Oh, my God. And... He didn't like the preset stations on their radio. <laughs> I had to scan the band, guys. Not cool. I reset everything one through six. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and last but not least, mm. the dogs wouldn't cuddle with him. <laughs> <laughs> Your dogs wouldn't lick my dick. I put a whole damn char of Jeff on it's it, and it wouldn't going. even do it. Wow. I might be getting a corgi. Ooh, this is the last time I'll be here if that. If that's the what? Case. Yeah. No way. Those dogs I are will fucking kick your corgi across the fucking house. Okay? Bundle of fun. Yeah, for like a day. Yeah, I'm not gonna bring my dog to your house. Your your, your dog will eat my dog because yeah, he's tall like me. Yeah. Your family would be like, oh, this is the size of dog we need. Yeah, because we're short. Mm. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Whoa, we're not recording. Got you. I got you there. Holy shit, my I, heart's I sank. scared your poopies out of you. Oh, boy. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. All right. We got two more things to cover, and then we outskis. <sighs> okay. Can I read one now? Let me read one. Give me one of those. Okay, you do this one. I don't I'll, like co I'll cover the last thing. I just, okay. I'm hoping the last thing is actually going to be a surprise. Ooh, I like surprises. This one's called Teenager Charged with Domestic Abuse. Oh, Assault. Sorry. <laughs> I already <laughs> read that part wrong. Look at me go. Let me turn the nice lights on. Shot. It's getting dark in here. No, Ben, I don't like lights. It's getting to be winter time. It's getting Troy up in we here, We used man. to record in the dark. Yeah, we we did that a couple times, yeah. Now we're going back to it. Anyways. I fucking love it. Making her tabloid debut is Florida teen Katie Jade Gates. After allegedly what? attacking a family member during a sit-down dinner with tomatoes and other assortments after wanting to eat more than her fair share of tomatoes. Ah, eat wow. it. Eat it. Gates, 19, allegedly oh, yeah. assaulted elderly relatives at their Callahan home after attempting to what? put a stop to her taking seconds of the dish only for her to become incensed was a what? When, <laughs> when she was told no. Wait, 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 wait,
Ah, good one, Ben. <laughs> Gates' grandmother told cops, it's because it's dark in here, I can't yeah, see, yeah. told right. cops <laughs> that the teenager began to throw a fit because she couldn't have more pussy popping tomatoes at the dinner table. <laughs> Gates then allegedly threw allegedly threw a temper tantrum and hurled a bottom bottle of water at her grandfather and a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, I know. Her I saw that and I was like, okay, this is a keeper. At her seventy three year old <laughs> grandmother, which caught her in the eye. Uh oh. Oh what? It's not sharp corners to the eye. She's gonna have a black one in the morning. After being confronted about her behavior by her grandfather, Gates allegedly grabbed a knife and began threatening him with it. Motherfucker, I'll stab you your fucking face, she said, according to Nassau Wait, County. Wait, seriously? Oh, I thought you were making something up on the no, spot. That what was the actual says. quote. Yeah. Um, the woman that proceeded to chase her grandfather with the knife around uh, the room. During police questioning, Gates admitted hitting her grandfather in the face with a packet of cigarettes. She yeah. also acknowledged picking up a knife and approaching him uh, with it, but denied attempting to strike him with a knife in her hand during the argument. Yeah, she just cut more potatoes or tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes, yeah. Damn it. You say potato, I say tomato. Exactly. Gates has been charged with two felonies, an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and aggravated battery on a victim over the age of 65. It's not her fault that uh, her grandparents are so old. Yeah, she need more tomatoes in her tum-tum. <laughs> She bonded out of jail More after than her bum bum. Mm, I like that little tomato penises. After posting eighteen thousand dollar bond, the judge has also ordered Gates not to have any contact with her grandparents. Get the fuck out of the house, man! Get the fuck out of here, man! Poo. All right, Brett. Oh, surprise, surprise! I know you like true crime as much as I do. I love. There's a new documentary that's going to be coming out called. What? Convicting a murderer. Ah, I gotta be able to read this shit. Sean Reck, the director of documentary Convicting a Murderer, told Fox News Tuesday that a bombshell confession was captured on tape and has been turned over to investigators who need to dig in. Dig. Reck who has not released the inmate's name, called the new confession... Anonymous. Very strange. And explained how it felt to his... Uh, how it fell into his production team's lap. Uh-huh. We'd been dealing with this inmate for about 18 months. Ooh, that's about a year and six months, man. That's correct. Yes. He's a convicted murderer in the murderer. state of Wisconsin. Stab, stab, cheese. And he wrote us a letter... My baby wrote me a letter <laughs> trying to further implicate Stephen Avery some time ago. What? Yeah, I did hear about this. Damn it! Yes. Damn it! I like damn it! it. Damn I like it! it. Keep I going. thought I was catching you off guard. No, never, Ben. Never catch fuck. me off guard. Fuck! 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 Only so, with jokes, just because there's so few and far between. That's true. So we're I'm now. I'm at the Brett Hayes. I'm at the Ben Glaze. So we're now wrapping up our 10-part series, which is an independent series of Making a Murderer, and we're fact-checking and trying to debunk certain information. And we set up a jail call to challenge him on some of the things he wrote in the nine-page letter. And rather than sticking to his letter, he immediately said the letter was false and took the blame for killing Teresa Halbach. What? He characterized it as a tragic incident. <sighs> moment of silence. <sighs> you just made noise during the moment of silence that whole time. It wasn't for her. It was for the RAV4. Oh, okay. Because now every time I see a RAV4, I just think of making a murderer. Right. Same he here. already admitted to lying. He's a convicted felon, so that tells you maybe he's not the most believable guy in... <laughs> Huh. Believable. <laughs> Believable guy. It's like believable and gullible. I don't know. <laughs> it's not even right. <laughs> but at the same time, he killed someone in the state of Wisconsin, and he was walking around free when all this happened. Mm. And maybe this was the reason he was trying to point the finger at Stephen Avery in the first place. <laughs> so it's kind of a balancing act. Rex said he turned over the audio recording, which was almost 10 minutes in length. Mmm, sounds like my dick. To the... <laughs> ah, to Catherine, Kathleen Zellner. Oh, yeah. What's she Zellner, sound like? Zellner, I hardly know her. Oh, what's she sound like again? 
hey, I go. No. <laughs> I got a blood test. Did I the lawyer? I see? You yes. talking about the lawyer? <laughs> Just like that. Throw the body against <laughs> the sheep. One <laughs> more time so there's more blood. <laughs> um, she represents Avery and uh, ooh, other, to the other lady who represents Des. Uh, hey, when am I going to be able to watch WrestleMania? Um, but he has not heard from either of the accused. They're not involved in our project. They see it as an ad- adversarial project because we are including law enforcement's point of view, which was not included in the original two seasons. Whatever. Yeah, seriously. It's totally oh. biased. Just kidding. But it really is. Um, the Wisconsin Department of Justice told Fox News to take justice all reports seriously, but the new confession directly contradicts information previously provided by the same individual. We're skeptical anyway, and we'll see what happens. We have to include this development in our project, but there's an awful lot to what we've done in the past 20 months, and there are 10 episodes just packed with information. Packing that fudge. This will be just one small piece of that. <laughs> Zellner also expressed skepticism. <laughs> skeptical. <laughs> Stay with Avery. Okay. There's no possible way. Let me see your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Give do it. We timed him the whole time. Sugar water. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben, you got one. <sighs> Hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've put those two together. That's funny. <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> Kermit the Frog. To be clear, like everyone else, this is news to me. Man, I- <laughs> <laughs> okay, you bet. All right, come on, hold it together. I. <laughs> I am- <laughs> what are you <laughs> dropping the hut now? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. I can't even do it. I have no comment <laughs> until I see the details. I have no comment. There you go. No comment. All right. I'm at the bar, bar, bar. Haze. The bride haze. <laughs> I'm at the pen. Follow me because, again, none of you guys do. Like, literally. Yeah, and I'm dropping followers like flies. Yeah, and that's what you, we've all said the same thing last week. You just cut and paste. Cut and paste. Just, just like the rest of the oh, episode. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we'll catch you next week. Yeah, if you are, we'll catch you next week. Fatal two, fatal two. If you have a shame making a murderer, go, go watch it. Okay, Ben. I'm, I'm really sexy. I swear. <laughs> all um. Right. All right. Okay. okay. You got any dates? Uh, that sucks. Bye, fuckers! Oh boy, that's awesome.